Fox 5 Surprise Squad is powered by United Nissan, America First Credit Union, Albertsons, and Vons. One month ago, 58 crosses were placed behind the Las Vegas welcome sign, all memorializing each individual victim of the one October tragedy. The cross has served as a place of gathering, healing, and hope for so many. While the man behind those crosses may not call Las Vegas home, he understands the heartbreak and what his gracious gift could do for our city. For that, this morning our Fox 5 Surprise Squad and community partners felt moved to give back to him in a very special way. You come here because it's like you're so thankful you're alive, but you're so hurt and broken for those who aren't. I wish there was more that I could do, and so far this is as close as I can get right now. Uh, the gentleman that did this, uh, what a great idea. And it brings out the best in, in, in the rest of us. I feel that Las Vegas is having one of its darkest days in American history, but I'm trying to shed a light on that by bringing hope with the cross and, and showing that you weren't alone when this happened. I'm Maria Ribley and I'm Greg Zanis' daughter. My dad has been placing crosses at the sites of tragedies. He's been doing it um, over 20 years and he's done over 20,000 crosses. January the 15th, 1996, you know, I found my best friend and father-in-law in a pool of blood. He put a cross up for my grandfather at his house. I think in our local paper they did a really small story on it. My dad said, look, I'll put up a cross for anyone, anywhere. All you have to do is ask. So people started asking. And then Columbine happened and he just left. I have seen him put up crosses for tragedies such as the Aurora, Colorado movie theater shooting, Sandy Hook Elementary, Orlando. End of 2016, my dad was asked if he would build a cross for everyone that was murdered that year in Chicago. In three weeks, he built 747 crosses. I, I'm not mentally prepared for what's happened in this country, so... But, I mean, I, I can't even keep crosses in my garage. It seems like every time I make them, they go, I'm, I, my wife said people have been coming over to the house and getting them. I have personally asked my dad to stop the crosses because my parents do not have the means to do this. My family doesn't have a lot of money. I mean, like, we get food from the food pantry. My dad drove the same pickup truck for 20 years. I don't want to see my family get upset with him for spending money because my family needed that money to pay rent. This tailgate, it broke off uh, open on us as we were driving and uh, some of our things fell through. I've had a change of heart. I've seen my dad change for the better since he started doing these crosses. It's gonna make the families feel that they're not forgotten, very simply. People are united now. Yes. They got stronger because everybody now comes here and because of him. I couldn't believe it that somebody would actually take the time out of their life to do this. Really amazing. The way Vegas has treated my dad, I think it's, it's really helped heal our family because it felt a lot of times like he was doing it unwantedly. In Vegas, the complete opposite reaction. I mean, when he drove into town, Police escorted him in. Police officers lined up, taking the crosses and putting them up for the victims. It was just unbelievable. You know, I'm a, a man on a mission, bringing hope of the cross and, and showing that you weren't alone when this happened. God is in America. God hasn't abandoned us. Thank you for continuing to do the crosses even when we weren't sure you should do it. I see the big picture now and I'm, I'm really, really proud that you're my dad. Mr. Greg Zanis, we are so honored to have him in our studio with us this morning. What was it like for you to see your daughter saying all of those kind things about you? I just want to go home. You want to go home? Yeah. Well, what if she came here? <laughs> Maria, come on out. I'm surprised. I don't know what to say, honey. You're probably unaware but here at Fox 5, we have something called the Surprise Squad. And our mission is a lot like yours. 
to bring people hope. I have something else for you. This is a $20,000 grant from our friends at Albertsons and Vons. Oh my God. You guys, it's so, so hard all these years doing this by myself. We know that last week you were on the road sleeping in your truck to protect your crosses. I need you to come with me. Okay, Mr. Zanis, all of this is for you. A new truck and a new trailer. <laughs> All of this is for your dad. Although our hopes are you, know, you never have to travel to another city in the wake of a tragedy, from our family at United Nissan and the Fox 5 Surprise Squad, we wanted to present you with this new truck. He's, he's the, the type of person who deserves this. I think he deserves this more than anybody. To know that he's driving, putting crosses out everywhere there's tragedy, we wanted to donate to him and give him what he needed to, to continue that mission. We want to give you all these tools to <laughs> fill your truck up, to make sure that next time something happens that you'll be there because we know the impact you've made. It was just great to kind of give back to somebody who's giving back to our community as well. I broke down. My brother was murdered last year. Today you guys brought that relief to me to see that Greg is going to continue to do what he's been doing. Love you all. and. I'm able, because of you, I'm able to spread love for everybody in America. I had no idea any of this was going to happen. I just thought I was going to surprise my dad. And this is going to keep him going and keep him safe. And it's just a huge blessing to our family. And I'm just so, so thankful. Mr. Zanis has never once asked for financial support for building his crosses, and that's why the squad felt so compelled to help. Amazing individual. If you too would like to support his mission, we have set up a link to Crosses for Losses GoFundMe page on our website, fox5vegas.com.